digital advertising remains a significant revenue source for news publishers. So it's important to understand and plan for directly sold and programmatic ads. I am Juan Laburt from Google News Initiative. And in this short video, we will cover when to use direct versus programmatic ads, how to set prices, pitch potential advertisers, and set up ad campaigns. Okay, let's start with the basics. Most publishers sell ads through a combination of direct and programmatic selling. Each has pros and cons. Direct ads sell without a third party. They give you control of the ads displayed on your site, a closer relationship with advertisers, and on average, higher prices for your ad inventory. Programmatic ads sell through automated technology, which manages and fulfills campaigns they give you access to thousands of advertisers and utilize data, demographics, and reader behavior, which can increase your user engagement. In a nutshell, direct advertising generally gives you a higher revenue opportunity, but also requires more resources, such as a sales team that can manage advertising relationships. On the other hand, programmatic is less resource intensive, but typically warrants higher traffic to attract a significant revenue stream for your business, as prices for 1,000 of your ad impressions, or CPMs, generally are lower. You will want to decide which type to use on your site. On average, direct sell ads for two to four times more than programmatic ads, but can sometimes even garner prices that are dozens of times more than programmatic. You will need to convince your advertisers why associating with your brand or reaching your audiences should warrant that price. Cost per thousand or CPM is a term commonly used in advertising. It means the price of 1,000 impressions on an ad. In the US, direct ads average 10 to $20 CPMs, while programmatic ads average one to $5 CPMs, according to the local media consortium. This is, of course, a broad range and differs by region. For example, in Latin America, average programmatic CPMs can be less than 50 cents USD, while direct CPMs are generally lower than 10 USD. You can earn higher revenues by directly selling as much inventory as possible and selling the remaining stock via programmatic. Here is how you could prioritize your inventory so you can get the highest prices. First, use direct sales then programmatic preferred and guaranteed deals, followed by a private programmatic auction, and finally, a programmatic open auction. Publishers that use Google AdSense and Ad Manager benefit from dynamic allocation by default, which can give you the highest pro ad price by allowing advertisers to compete in real time with your guaranteed advertisers. Once you determine how much of your inventory you want to sell directly versus programmatically, you may ask yourself, how should I set my prices? With direct rates, you list your prices on a rate card, which also lists your ad inventory. Here are the best practices we've seen from the industry when it comes to setting direct prices. One, conduct market research and see what other local publications rate cards include. Suppose you don't have any comparable publications in your region. In that case, you may be able to increase your prices because advertisers don't have an obvious alternative to reach the kind of audience you serve. Two, adjust your rates based on your audience's size, reach, and brand. If you reach a large audience, that will be interesting to advertisers. But even if you only have a niche target audience, you can communicate its value to advertisers who may want to reach them. Be thoughtful about which advertisers you approach as they should align with your value proposition. For example, if you are the leading source of news for an ethnic minority, reach out to other small businesses like restaurants or supermarkets that also cater to that community who will value the association with your brand. Three, set higher prices for specific audience segments and engaging ad types like video, which can garner higher prices than display ads. For more on this, check out our content on ad sizes and types. In programmatic advertising, a target cost per thousand impressions, or CPM, is the average price you want an ad to sell you for. You can set a floor price, which is the lowest CPM an ad can be sold for. You can also manage pricing across all indirect sources of demand from a single place with unified pricing rules. 
which have conditions you can set with floor prices or target CPMs. Note that target CPMs slightly differ from floor prices. Instead of limiting all ads to go below a certain CPM threshold, it ensures that the average CPM over the course of a month will exceed your set threshold. It therefore allows for increased fill rates and yield while still maintaining an average minimum price for your inventory. If you use Ad Manager, here are some steps you can take to set unified pricing rules. First, go to Inventory and then Pricing Rules. Next, select New Unified Pricing Rule and enter a name. Under Targeting, select the inventory you want it to apply to. For pricing, select prices for specific items or set the same price for advertisers, brands, sizes, creative types, and so on. You can choose to set floor prices, target CPMs, or let Google optimize your floor prices. Finally, click Save. For more information on unified pricing rules, check out the Ad Manager support page. The best practices we've seen from publishers with programmatic ad pricing include 1. Setting a target CPM instead of a floor price to earn more revenue. 2. Establishing pricing rules, charging different prices for sizes, creative types, video options, and so on. 3. Specifying prices for particular advertisers, brands, or sizing. OK, now you've decided how to sell your ads and for what price. You may also tell yourself that given the higher prices for direct ad sales, you want to focus more of your energy on unlocking the best direct deals. Now you will need to think about how you pitch prospective advertisers and build long-lasting relationships with them. A good asset in approaching prospective advertisers is a strong media kit. Here are some suggestions on how to do that, which have worked well for news organizations. One, start by telling the advertiser why they might want to work with you and how doing so will help them reach their goals. Two, introduce your organization and audience segments. Three, add quantitative data such as statistics, numbers, and demographics to give them a sense of your news site's engagement and social presence. You can include, audience size and paid subscribers, if you have them, geographic coverage, topic coverage, monthly page views, viewability, pages per visit or visit length, and visits per month. In the end, prioritize sharing the data points that set you apart. Share ideas on how they could advertise on your site, such as providing mockups of placements. This gives you and the advertiser a starting point for your discussions. You can also share case studies of how you've worked with other similar advertisers in the past. Add your rate cut and contact information. Once you make an advertising deal, you will want to think about how to run an effective campaign, including setting up client billing, establishing campaign dates, creating creative assets, adding ad tags, and tracking. You will also want to share a report weekly or monthly to advertisers on the campaign's results, including impressions, clicks, and click-through rates. Again, clear communication with advertisers is key to a long-term relationship. When the campaign ends, submit a final invoice and report detailing ad inventory, including types, sizes, placements, impressions delivered, CPMs, and total costs. With that final invoice, you can include ideas on how to continue working together and expand the partnership. Renewing an advertising deal is much less resource intensive than seeking a new one. That's a wrap on this video, but we recommend taking your knowledge to the next level by watching our other videos on how to grow your digital ad revenue. Google also provides in-depth coaching for groups of news organizations through our labs. You can learn more and apply on our website, g.co slash news initiative. Thank you, and please send us questions or feedback at contactgni at google.com.